Outside if you go to the Gorge du Verdon, which is one of the most beautiful ravines in uh, Europe. I'm there now, sort of, because you can you can drive along the way. Uh, it's it's really beautiful, and the roads the roads are really really fun to drive as well. Uh, at one point I was thinking, man, it it, it, it looks like the Route Napoleon, which I drove uh, exactly five months ago today with my dad. It looked like the Route Napoleon. Which was actually true because it was the Route Napoleon at, at some point. I saw a sign, uh, so that was that was pretty fun. Yeah, but these mountain roads—they're incredible. Oh, it's 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 amazing. Um, I'm now at a restaurant overlooking uh, mountains, man. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna have a pizza and then go to a lake. in the Gorge du Verdon. This view is just amazing. Uh, the water is as blue as it can get. There are people uh, boating here, uh, canoes and paddle paddle boats. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I'm alone and that would be sad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a swim here. Um, it's really nice. It's 31 degrees, also not bad. Mind blowing. Also the, the, the route here was even got me a little emotional. <laughs> Man, I'm just amazed by this place. Hey, this day great from father, ain't beyond the dead talk. Hey, this day great from father, ain't beyond the dead talk. Hey, this day great from father, ain't beyond the dead talk. because this is Saint Jean Cap Ferrat, I got lost again. It's like the third time in a row that I got lost here. <laughs> I found the villa, it was easy to find, but then finding a parking place is the problem. So now I'm basically at the lowest point of the peninsula, um, trying to find a place to turn the car to go back up towards the villa. And then I drove past the hotel where Daba works. And uh, last time I talked to her, she invited me to have a have a cup of coffee or whatever sometimes at her uh, at her hotel while she's working and I drove by her car as well so now I'm gonna have a very expensive coffee I think after I'll uh, go to the to the villa anyway because now I'm here I just really want to see it but first get a cup of coffee <laughs> expensive uh, cappuccino which was seven euros before it was six in Monaco it was seven in Ez and now I broke the most expensive glass of wine this was a 18 euro glass of rosé still hurts a bit but um, I don't need that extra rib I mean it's extra so. <laughs>
Fuzi de Rothschild Gardens. Finished the villa before, and it's it's big. It's really big. And the amount of porcelain this woman had. Uh, Poo, Jesus. If I'm if I'm right, this villa was created uh, or designed by Lady Efruzzi Rothschild. If I'm correct, I don't know. My history is a bit flawed on this, but I think it is. And she wanted a palace on the Mediterranean, so she built this uh, this villa with. Let's see how many gardens does it have? One, two, three. With nine gardens, it has nine gardens, including a Japanese garden, a French garden, Spanish garden, stone garden, exotic garden, a rose garden. List goes on. Also has um, like a water ballet in the French garden, which you saw a little bit of before when I was up on the second floor. But it's really beautiful here. It's really beautiful. I'm, I'm glad I went. So, mother, thank you for the tip. Uh, it was really worth it.